the coveted prop, an oversized plane ticket, signaling the best of Canada's track and field athletes heading to the Paris Olympics and Paralympics. The Canadian trials, their last test. Andre de Grasse is your 2024 champion. For some, it's a chance to defend their record. It'll be a third Olympic showing for sprinter Andre de Grasse. I'm working hard, I'm training, training's been going good, I'm healthy, so I'm feeling pretty confident and, and pretty good. And those going for the first time. Andre Leduc is the Canadian champion. The 22-year-old broke the Canadian record in both the 100 and 200 meter races. In the 400, Christopher Morales Williams lived up to his reputation, but says he still feels like a kid. It's just like completely surreal, you know. I mean, I think I'm able to take it in now, but it's still just awesome to be like this actually happening. It's not just a dream, you know. On the field, there's world champion hammer thrower Cameron Rogers. This sport literally owes me nothing, but I owe the sport everything. So I feel like I try to find the joy in every single moment of it throughout the way. Para-athlete Greg Stewart didn't think he would be back to defend his shot but gold from the last Olympics. You retired. Yes. What pulled you back in? Uh, the story is I love what I'm doing, um, and that's the, rea the reality. I love throwing a shot. I love... Um, being able to give back to my sport and give back to the community. The feeling is this is a stacked team for Canada. Uh, the current crop of athletes that we have right now, so much depth, track and field can be very unforgiving. Uh, we're talking about milliseconds and, and you know centimeters, but we have really high expectations for sure. In Tokyo, the team won two gold, two silver and two bronze medals. This year's qualifying athletes say anything less in Paris just won't do. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.